Oh, yes, I can do that. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, yes, I can try to do that. Yeah, uh, I just have to... That problem is that I'm not trained in that particular skill, which means it's a flip to fail. Oh. And before you blow yourself up a new character. Hey, we all gotta go somewhere new. Oh, you switched me to the tab. I had all tabs open, by the way. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just quickly reading your thing. Um... Yeah, number three. Because it's necessary um, to do uh, yes, something it else. Does not, it, you would know it is not. You cannot do the, uh, use this uh, effect on that. It cannot target rituals. Then fuck it, I'm walking through. Damn the consequences. Because she um, should know better. It, um... Uh, make a... Hard uh, toughness test. Hard minus twenty. Um, yeah. As you as you attempt to pass, uh, it hurdles you to the ground nearby. Um, not afflicting much damage, but it's not quick before you see an old woman pops out of the door and she shouts, I thought you knew better than that. And, um, you know, she's holding a, some frog legs and in her in one hand is out forward as she streams out in front of her house. Then why didn't you meet I'll me outside? She said, w w Is it. Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? You just said you thought I would know better, but you did not tell me to. You don't know who I am. She goes, mm, You don't look like. Oh. And she says, So they sent you. And, uh, I imagine you work for the people I work for? For ages and ages. And she replies, for ages and ages. Um, hold on. Wait. By the way, uh, so everyone knows, as I like to give out jobs, um, and Theta already has a big job, obviously, and Genevieve is our reader, um, Nero is our pronunciations are, especially when it comes to old dead language. <laughs> uh, can you pronounce that for me? It would be, it's, it's Latin. In secula seculorum. That's what she says, just like that in response. Um... And she uh, says, well, you can come in. I feel like at this point, I probably stand behind the, the barrier again. <laughs> you sure? You sure I can come in this yes, time? Yes. yes, you've been invited. It's the rules. You should know. Do they, do they teach you nothing? I suppose not. I don't know, there's a high level of assumptions when we work in this field, and I just assumed that you would know who I was when I was coming. Hell, you said you knew I should know better, assuming that you knew who I was, but you did not know who I was when I knew who you were, but yet I here I am on the ground. Yes. I thought you were someone else. I didn't realize they'd be sending... Of course, I get that all the time. I just have one of those faces, you know. Yes, that's it. One of those faces. Um, she beckons you to come inside, and uh, whoa, whoa, on the if, first day, do you hesitate? Yeah, do you? Uh, I assume you go in, right? The barrier. Yeah, that's why we'll I offer you no came assistance. here. 
Yeah, uh, the barrier offers you no resistance this time um, as you pass through. Uh, carrying no holy symbol, um, it does not burn. You being particularly invited uh, seems to have, have helped with the whatever ritual sh or uh, she has done. She says, um, so they finally sent someone. It's been months, you know. Cool. And uh, what do you have? Uh, have you found anything out yet? Figured it out? Have I figured it out? I well, have you, not. What have you figured out? I have not figured out anything. I've just gotten here. I have been informed about a great many of things from the new lord of the village. None of it has anything to do with what we are about, so I do not know. We are not on the face of it, anyway. Um... She looks down and says, um... A long time ago, very long, when last the uh, beastmen heard came, I too lived in the castle with with that woman staying in the village. We each had our odd ways. I ran before the castle was besieged, but she stayed. And over the years, been trying to prove it. But something tells me she may have looked to something darker to save her that night. So you're saying that they may serve it. It, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't I sorry, I was trying... I was trying to come up with a better uh, descriptor than it, but then I realized, despite having seen it, I can't say he or she. So it is the best descriptor I can give. Yeah. She says, uh, yeah. Uh, something lives in those mountains. Something ancient. Something very ancient. I've spent my life here watching to make sure nothing comes, but still hasn't. And this is all the or, information you can give me. She smiles and she says, you know how we work. I wouldn't. I... She she sighs and says, I never spent as much time as I should have. And now, unfortunately, I think it's too late. Sorry, I was waiting for you to describe her vanishing in a puff of smoke or something. No, yeah, she just sits there and sort of like stares off into the distance. Um, she says, uh, again, I, I'm not entirely sure what, uh, what or if any pact made or what the entity is that she made it with. But I know it frightens even even those beast men, servants of the abyss they may be. They are but frightened of her. Very well, if this is all the information that you can give me, then I think that I must set about on my own affairs. She says, yes. I believe that might be the 
and the best course for you. And don't worry, I've already invited you if you need to come back. Great. Now, if only I turn into a vampire, you will be fucked. Uh, she laughs. And scene. Yeah. Um, okay, others, what's our plan? What's the action we want to take on the next day? Well, I say you announced at least that Rutherford is a new lord. Do you mean Ritter? Oh. Mm-hmm. That he's in charge right now. Right, the Ritter. You want to use the word Ritter, not Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leader. He's a new leader. You want you want to at least say that. Ritter von Rutherford. So we should gather people at the church. At least a few. Mm-hmm. Tell them and then uh, go from there. Just have the uh, Set up the ball for the night before the harvest tide festival. So, yes. Uh, so, so we make a proclamation. We yeah. make a proclamation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, who's making the proclamation? And whoever does that may make a. Uh, Charm role or a leadership, a leadership at a normal difficulty, a charm at a um, challenging difficulty. I mean, I, I'm not trained in any of this. <laughs> I mean, I guess I should do it since. Yeah. Of course not. You have people to speak for you. I poke. Uh... <laughs> Rasmussen with the tip of my cane. You are the body man, right? Right? I mean, imagine the Yoda scene from Degawa. Poke, 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 poke. Go, 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 go. Do, you must. Think. I you don't. can attempt, but again, uh, public speaking isn't something that I've had much experience in, i.e. I have no skill ranks in either of those skills. Well, this is truly going to be a, an embarrassing event in your life. I suggest that you suck it up and get it over with. Who Who is Ramon talking to just then? Or you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it if you want. I mean, it makes sense that uh, that you don't announce it yourself. Yeah. So either uh, charm at a minus ten or uh, leadership at a normal. Well, there you go. I give uh, when the time comes. Rasmussen. Uh, the fail, right? Yeah, if you're not trained, it's flipped to fail. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're there right. is it's this. Uh, there's this fortune pool thing over here. Yeah, you can use one. Yeah. That just gives me a reroll, which is far from a guarantee. That's true. That's Man, why it's a fortune pool. Fail? Uh, I'll use it if you guys think it's worth it. Sure. I mean, they're there. Okay, let's uh, let's reroll. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I made it worse. Riot. Um, Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> uh, for uh, 22 mental peril. Oh my god. Uh, I like it. I like it now. Stuck it up. You're going to have to get through with it. He walks up the stand, passes out. Oh no. I just imagine everything he says just gets the people angry and they just throw like stuff at him. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, I Lord who? Uh, and now it's a massive increase in taxes. Uh... I actually think you let slip about the tithe. Um, Brother, what? Maybe I hate maybe... that fucking asshole. Um, I think in attempting to 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 lead the people and and tell them everything's going to be okay, you mentioned the coming tithe and how um, you know basically everyone catches on because it's not something the common folk think about that thought about that much. Um, is my God, we're going to starve to death, and and so. As soon as you finish your little speech, um, there's shouting and yelling, and people are throwing things at you. Um, it's extremely stressful, and it's added by twice as much than Elja Hutfield um, is sitting in the safety of the inn where you attempt to retreat to afterwards. And she's just like, she's sitting casually on a table, but with that look of, well, I've got you now, you bastards. Um, and she begins by saying, uh, so you also mentioned Alexandre had passed Rasmussen. Did he tell you of our deal? Uh, he did not, but then again, he and I rarely spoke. That's good. Well... I had arranged to buy my family's uh, freedom from him. And him being uh, tight on cash and needed it for the upcoming tithe. And you now being uh, the ear of this Lord or Ritter von Rutherford. And she makes air quotes. Uh, I, I think... I think we can find something that that benefits us both even easier. My family's freedom in exchange for not uh, outing you to your normal peerage about this false peasant who thinks he is one of them. Well seems to me there is a bargain to be made. Allow me to speak to Lord Rutherford on your behalf. We'll see what he says. Needed. Um, like when you go to move, you get the feeling that uh, maybe without seeing it, but you know uh, Eljo's type and you're 100% convinced there's a pistol trained on you. Ah. Um, Says, I think I, I can think say that... with a great deal of confidence that he'll be amenable to this arrangement. So my family will get their freedom? Now, I, I just want to make sure I understand. When she's talking about her freedom, she's talking about no longer being an indentured servant. Yeah, the end, end of their servitude. I believe that can be arranged on one condition. You mentioned that you were going to pay to purchase your freedom. My question is, what happens to your smuggling operation once that purchase is completed? Do you remain in town and continue the operation? Or you, you, will you and your family be moving on to greener pastures? She said, well, we'll have to work the land. But with all the money I'm saving on this new deal, we'll be pretty set up.
I think it's safe to say that you can purchase your freedom. But if you're going to continue your smuggling operation, I think it's only fair that the new lord gets a little taste, don't you think? On an ongoing basis to make sure that things run smoothly? Um, why don't you give me a charm here again? Or a guile, if you prefer. Um, if you believe oh, yeah. Normal. Guile. Guile is good. All right. Make it normal. Um, she knows she can deal with you. Guile literally and goes with everything. Um, yeah. And there's, there's lies here being made. Um, after a, sh a short bit of conversation, um, she she will offer uh, a future take in her operation, right? Pay basically to pay the rents of, of her property where family lives. Um, and she will buy off her freedom now for 50 gold. Yeah, that, that works. All right. That works. That That is an agreement. That is a bargain struck. Okay. Um, yeah, it's not long before it's delivered to you. Uh, but hopefully that helps in your woes of tithe a little bit. Yeah, I take the money and ride out of town. I'm, sur no, I'm surprised she gave you any money. <laughs> Seemed like the agreement yeah, she had made at first was, I'll hold my tongue, you give me my, what I want for free. Well, that's the, the guile check, is that was also a little bit of a lie, too. Um, in the sense that, and I think part of what this is, is nobody's going to really care what some peasant from Bogenhofen has to say. And I think she knows that as well. So, uh, it is not. This, it was more of like, a, hey, you're going to deal with me now, and we're going to do it quick. And I don't have to raise that extra money that Alexandre was making me do. Because... <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um, you guys have to figure also, out how much you uh, you lost. Um, well, we're, we're running out of time and we're desperate. So at this moment in time, I'm going to take whatever we. Um. Yeah. So that was that. What was the next thing you guys wanted to do after that somewhat disastrous announcement? Well, the, the first thing I'm going to do is go and find uh, Rutherford and Genevieve, and I suppose Ramon, since he's there, uh, and uh, let them know. I'm not going to hide the money from them. I'm going to let them know, look, we've scraped this much that we can put towards the tithe that should buy us at least a little bit of breathing room. And, uh, you know, what's our next step? First, I, we need to find a secure place to keep this. I do want to point out, just for everybody's benefit, that you have already stated that you do not know how much the tithe is. I do not know how much breathing room you think you've earned when you do not know what the total amount owed is to be. Well, something is better than nothing. Is it? That's all I'm going If I owed you 20 gold crowns and I gave you a brass penny, do you think that's better than nothing? Uh, question. Uh, it's did my brother leave already? Uh, yes, with poor space uh, earlier, before you guys left for the castle. What? Okay. Never mind. Then. The mystery of the letter remains unresolved. He got away with it. No, it's going to make him be our next did year. nothing wrong. He's a horse face killer. He just likes to get drunk and gamble. I'm telling you. Well, I mean, he knows you best, right? Hmm. Not even who I was talking about, though. I know. Um. Also, I have another. So, uh, Genevieve would like to. I don't. I think. I think. Yeah, she knew. Uh, she looks to Rutherford and she says, um, you still have the Bible, right? Yeah, the cutout one from Father Seneca. Mm-hmm. It still has the money in it? Yes. Put the rest of the money in there. Uh, 
right. All right. So technically, we have 60 gold. And then some guy goes walking along uh, near you guys. He goes, Hey, I wonder whatever happened to Alexandre's body. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I know these fucking NPCs, am I right? <laughs> um Uh I think the next thing we should probably do is um Bury our dear friend Alexandre. You wanna look for Alexandre? Get out of here! <laughs> Get out of here, guy! What are you doing? <laughs> um, you want to go back to get Alexander's body? Yeah, yeah. You can uh, bury him with all his racist shit. We could also make it a two-way thing. Like we also make our way back to see. Oh no, but that's on a different path. So I'm thinking. Going back to the mine. That's not a bad idea. Is that on yeah, a different path, I, though? Yeah, that is on a different path because it's we were we were attacked on the same path to Bogan's castle. I'm pretty sure it's a different. My path. problem with my memory is yeah. I'm thinking that maybe the castle was on the northeast and the mine is in the northwest, but. Why they're both are... in the northeast, but they're on different sides of the river. Yeah, yeah they're bull... different sides of the river. Well, they're on different sides of the river, then obviously one isn't on the northeast. <laughs> anyway, again, my problem was stemming from that. Why are the, the beastmen on both sides of the river? Yeah, that is interesting. Because you would think Brutus would be hunkering down in the mine. Well, I mean, they're based around the mine. Like, if that's where everything started for them. Well, wouldn't they always be on that side of the the river? So, the uh, Lady Brianna did mention that recently the Beastmen were at her castle for some reason. Really? Yeah, she hmm. mentioned that, like, I think she told Rass and Rutherford, because I wrote it down, that she they were, like, looking at her castle recently. Sorry, I, that, was, that was meant to be more sarcastic than it was. I was killed there. I know where they were there. Yeah, I have no, I have no problem going back to the trail and see what we can find. Yeah, we could probably see where the tracks of the beastmen led to. Yeah. Sound like a plan? Yep. Okay. I'm ready to do that. Um. Yeah, you arrive at the spot of um. We'll just say we go. Um, you arrive at the spot of uh, Alexandre's murder. Um, the snow, of course, has picked up, but you can you remember Genevieve pretty vividly along where the path it was, and it's um not long before you can find some small bits of body parts. Um, but not all of them are there. Uh, you, you can't put together a whole body. He did die in the middle of the road, so it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna, like... Did yeah, you guys there... take anybody else with you? I was literally thinking before we left that if you guys wanted to track down the Beastmen that you should probably bring a hunter, and then I remembered, oh wait, the green man killed the hunter, so... Yeah. He's deado. Green man still at large. I don't. I don't think there's anybody who's like a tracker. Or no. we could bring. We could bring. Um. Uh. His name is is leaving me right now. Uh, Grenstock with us. I mean, yeah, he'll do basically whatever you tell him. Yeah, he can bring him because he might. He has probably more like warfare knowledge than Genevieve, so maybe he has an idea of like why they were hunkering down there. Oh yeah, you said he fought orcs, right? Mm-hmm. 
So you yeah. should have an idea. Yeah, so I'm going to bring him with me. Yeah, okay. So um, we'll say all five of you are at the pass. Wagon um, right and uh, horse, too? Uh, uh, you got to bring in the wagon? Or you, well, I guess so, to get Rasmussen there, right? I'm not walking. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so bring in the wagon and the horse. For Rasmussen's sake. Thank you. Um, yeah, so you all arrived there, and again, you've, you've, you've found bits and pieces, but no large chunks of Alexandre. By the way, how much, uh, does Definitely. your, uh, peg leg slow you down again, Rasmussen? It, uh, reduces my movement to three. Oh, okay. And I cannot run. It's funny, because my, uh, being so small and frail reduces my movement by three. So I thought maybe yours was a uh, a similar thing, not that it removed it. Well, no, no, it, it does. It reduces my movement by three, which means that I have a net movement of three. Yeah. So yours reduces you by three, and what was the other part of it? And I cannot run. Oh, okay. Mine reduces mine by three, and I can't hold two-handed weapons and shit. Yeah, because you're a garden gnome. Yeah, I'm, t I'm super tiny. It's just funny that we both have these tiny... Uh, we have the movement-reducing things plus. What is your current movement? Sorry, this is the only time I had to co compare us. Uh, My movement, I believe it is, in fact, three. Let me go and take a look. Well, that can't be right. That would mean you have an abil uh, agility uh, bonus of three, right? I have an agility bonus of four. Which would mean that your movement would be four right now, then. Uh, if you don't have anything else buffing up. No, uh, that's it. So it's just the agility movement. And... Uh... Right, because your base movement is 3 plus your agility bonus, which would be 7, minus the 3 for your peg yeah. leg means you have a movement of 4. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Yeah, hey, look at that. Movement of 4. You are speed. Um, yeah, so what do we do now that we're there? Um, I'm going to turn to... Uh... Uh, Grandstoke and you know kind of give him um overall what happened and she says um so what do you think why do you think they were hunkering down here or why they were in this area we thought they were around the mine nope it, she and she says that it, it's strange that they were watching us from here and not many people travel this road uh, it seemed like to me that they was uh, maybe here for a reason to get who's ever coming out of that castle or why we won't be up in that castle. Um, she's uh, yeah, um, can she ask Grandshaw see if he can track? where they were, like, where they left? Or is the snow too, too heavy? Yeah, it's going to be hard. He goes, uh, and so, I, man, I, if I may speak freely. You may. It's, uh, uh Blair I snowing, and uh, I grew up in a city, ma'am. Well, somewhere. They, they came from somewhere and left. Uh, uh, do I see anything like interesting? Any markings anywhere on like trees, if not on the ground? Um, you can try and take an awareness. Um, just like check the general area or survival if you want to try and track. Let me see. What do I have? Uh, do we have a survival? Oh yeah, we no we don't. Yes we do. Uh, 
Um, well, the sergeant may have quit. Um, you, the easy part though is they were, as you can probably imagine, dragging pieces of Alexandre back. Um, and the snowfall because of the tree cover isn't always, you know, isn't isn't complete. So you're able to find a pretty loose trail that leads you back towards the river. Yeah, I, I will share this with everybody. So it looks like they went back across the river. Hmm. So they were really after Lady Brianna for some reason. How deep is the water there? Um, you ran by it. Um, give me a, a flashback awareness check. Make it <laughs> normal. Yeah. Um, it's gosh. water. Yeah, it, it's it could be. It could be deep, it could be shallow, you don't know. Rivers are for people who live out in the country, not proper city gentlemen like you. <laughs> yeah. Only people from hip towns know about rivers. So I was thinking. They'd have to get across the river somehow. Um, if it was deep enough, they couldn't swim, realistically. Genevieve uh, kind of just says this out loud. She's like, I wonder if the one I hit managed to survive through that cold water with all his wounds. <laughs> I don't see anything along the river, right? Nothing? Is that where you guys are? You guys going up to the river, following the trail? Everybody. I would, yes. I yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You follow the trail, and there's a um. Uh, there's like a couple of trees that have been chopped down to ford the river. So it's it's you know. Yeah. It answers that mystery of how they got across pretty quickly. And it is fairly close to, like, if you look on the little map, it's, mm -hmm. um, it's like maybe a couple, a couple of inches down from where that little watchtower is next to the mine on the map, so you can get an idea of kind of sort of where. Oh, it's like okay, I see where it is. I know what you're talking about. I think they're fortifying in the mine. I definitely now think they're at the mine. <laughs> Your mother's might be in there if they captured her. Well, if that's the case, then, you know, regardless of the cost, our priority has to be to retreat. You're the Dragoon, and now that Alexandre is dead, the men that he brought with him from Skarnsberg, I presume, are now under your command. So, what we could do is gather them and then have an expedition out to the mine to see if we can deal with these guys once and for all. The problem is that we have to also take into consideration that they might be expecting us, right? Because if if they're if we're fortifying the town, they might be fortifying the mine. So if we just go by the normal trail toward the mine, they might be ambushing us before we even get to the mine. That's my concern. And it's a valid one, but I'm not really sure what other options we have. Uh, is there Mark some way for us back. to approach the mine? Sorry? Sorry, when Mark Rensack hears this, he goes, uh, uh, ma'am, if I, if I may speak. Uh, yes. What? When we fought, uh, we fought the orcs, uh, up in, uh, near Bob's stop. Or, um, not bomb style. Um, bomb style. Uh, they uh, 
they ain't much for uh you know defense they was always on the attack so that's probably what i remember No, uh, she's there. She her, but she she's nods to that, and she says that the problem is their leader. I think is more clever than orcs. Well, but aren't they orcs? They're half man, half animal. What? He goes back to look at the ground. A little smarter than uh, an animal. A little dumber than a person. Yeah, they were they were smart enough to burn the the fields, right? And Brutus could talk. Mm-hmm. So. I wonder if we could use the same route as a sneak sneak attack. If we just make our way across the river, then going down straight to the mine. Sergeant, do you know, do you or your men know anything about fighting in confined spaces? Uh... Well, most of my men are pretty, pretty green, uh, Mr. Lord. Uh, and me personally, always been in a, you know, pipeline myself, sir. I see. Go down in those mines, it'll be dangerous. See, I kind of want to do what they do is like literally cut down some trees, make it like a bridge. We have the uh, wagon and the horse. Well, not now. I mean, like once we gather our forces, if we're going to assault the mine. If we do that. Pretty sure we would all just die. What? I'm pretty sure they have a bunch of meat and shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the rest of the, the missing the missing lead and stuff. I'm pretty sure Brutus stole it for some goddamn fucking reason. Honestly, the smartest thing to do would to be just to start a giant fire in the mouth of the mine and just suffocate everything in it. If there's no other way into the mine, but just sort of smoke them out. If Selma's in there, then Selma would die. Too. But we would we would have to do that. Like we'd have to like be really stealthy about it. Yeah. Yeah. Like we, I like if we were doing that, I wouldn't go to the straight to this normal route towards the mine. I would literally be like, yeah, we'd have to go around across the river, sneak into the dead of night, set the smoke in. Smoke everybody out and attack then when they're vulnerable. But that's if we could do it. <laughs> it's not impossible, but whether or not we actually go through with it would depend on what information we gather when we're there. First and foremost, whether your mom is uh, is being held by them. Uh, that's going to be the crucial variable, I think. And there's no way to find your father, right? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I could go to the usual spots, but we'll see. We have one more day left for the festival, right? Uh, I think a couple at this point. All right. Uh, you had like three to four days. This is the next day, so I think you have uh, 
Yeah, I think it's two days before the tithe is supposed to be delivered, or you guys actually have no fucking idea what's going to happen. Oh, I just figured out a great way to... I just figured out the tie problem. Oh, God. <laughs> Give him Carla. What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. You're supposed to love her. <laughs> Everyone I love dies. Oh, my God. Who's the one who kills them? It just popped into my head. I think from here we could make our way back because I don't think there's anything more we can gather. Yeah. 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 Okay. It sounds like you have some idea of where you want to go from mm -hmm. here. How to go about it is the... The dilemma. You try and... I don't know. Light your green lantern, maybe. No. Maybe, maybe something will happen. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't trust that green man anymore, man. <gasps> oh, oh my God! We forgot to talk to him. Forgot to talk to who? Oh yeah, we totally did, didn't we? Oh, oh my man. God! We need to go talk to him. We need to go talk to. Uh, oh my God! I completely forgot to. Um. Because Rath had told Genevieve what he looked like, he looked like, and Genevieve recognized who it was, or she thinks who it is, is the guy who was asking about the hunter, right? He was the miner. Algier, Algier. Yeah. Whatever. We need to go talk to him, my dudes. <laughs> we did not do that. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that's uh, that's a crucial piece of, uh, oh of questioning that we kind of missed. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna need to bring some soldiers too. It's uh, dangerous. <laughs> Why are you trying to scare the man? Why are you trying to get that man to kill us? I want that man arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we 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 need to go talk to that dude. Go back to town and talk to him or try to find him. All right. So we're going to gather well, three soldiers and. If you want, yeah. Find him, yeah. Yes. What's his name? I wrote it down and I totally forgot. This, I have it written down as Al Algier, Algier, but yeah, I think I spelled it wrong. Algiers. No, that's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to find him and see what he knows because I think he knows more than he's letting on. He definitely knows more than he's letting on. Uh, if you don't know where he lives, maybe Lucius knows. Or we just go walk through the town and start yelling, where the, where is Al Gear the miner? No, I think we could tell Lucius. He probably knows. Can ask Lucius where he is. Yeah. Um, do we want to skip forward to that? Yes. Uh, who...